morning at Rasla Mia. I got a phone call from Andrew this morning telling me to get ready in a hurry. So that's exactly what I did. And uh, we're heading out to some place today. Big surprise to me, but let's see. cow shark and uh, yeah well my play around with a bit of chocker see if we can't get a cobby or fish for some sandy it seems to be grass everywhere so we're not going to keep a bait in the water here our next option is going to the lagoon Langabon lagoon let's see if we can find something there Okay, we're at the lagoon here at the yacht club. Quickly coming to get some prawn. There's been some stumpies at the spit, and our next stop will be the spit fishing for some smooth ounce and stumpies. We just netted some mullet at the uh, Feldriff estuary of the of the wow, what's that river called? The Bach River. Okay. Yes. And uh, we made our way through to Langabon and uh, looking for some prawn. I'm going to see Andre at work. Okay, the weather's been really horrible, so we quickly went for lunch at the restaurant. It was pouring with rain. The wind was horrible, so we've got a little gap now to get some baits out here. Looking for the smooth out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a, a chocker bait with foam and put a little prawn on there. Who knows? Maybe that. Fish. Nice little blowcorp stumpy, as they call it, yeah, the bigger ones. Fresh pump spool. Fresh what, Curly? Fresh pump spool. We worked very hard for that one. Yeah, we didn't get many. Um, there wasn't a lot around, so we only got five. You have to spit the smooth ounce aren't as big as what we get, for instance, at Spruwaller. We might go there this afternoon, depending on the weather. Not the neatest little bait. 100% happy with it. Let's go try. Hi, so bait's in the water. Now let's just hurry up and wait. Now, just past the buoy here, it's a drop off and the deep channel that comes in here. The mouth to the sea is just to our right. It goes around the corner. And this goes to the big lagoon in the back. And this is the main lagoon of Langerbahn. Wow, 
what we've got here is we've got sandbanks with a deep gutter and that's where we're casting into and on those sandbanks there's actually mussels growing in the sand so if you can't get close enough to the lip and I think that oh darling just she got broken off as well now so with the tide being a bit high you can't get close enough to the lip so you just get picked up off oh. Yeah, we had spring well enough and it's actually looking brilliant and uh, it's not any angler that can say they've caught a bronze here the sea is big nice color though but quite big so i don't know how i'm gonna battle to get this head out but definitely achievement if you can get in, stuck into a big bronzy abel got a very nice bronze whale here and then of course the infamous white shark every now and again that comes and picks your bait up. Got scales in my mouth. Yep! Yeah. Woohoo! Nice. We need the camera. I'm going to run quickly. Look at that. Came back, Andrea surprised me. Beautiful smooth hand shot. Not my first smooth hand, but definitely my biggest. Nice fights, beautiful fish. So look there, beautiful eyes. Also got the refined black spots on it. Very nice fish. And I think we need to get this back. Back in the water and go check how Andre is doing on his fish. I think we feel more or less the same. He's a little tired. I'm a little knackered. He's still got energy. Definitely, definitely worth every second. Once you land that fish on the beach, you only realize, and once you release it, everything comes together. Perfect, perfect. What a day. Okay, well, to sum up today, it's been a great day, really. Considering all the bad weather, no fish in Cape Town, Robbie gave us some advice to come to Spreeuwalle this afternoon. So we took the chance, went for some bullet this morning, Wasted two hours before we got. Went up to the Lapa at Surfer Bay. No luck there with the grass. Then we came down, uh, pumped some prawn here in Langebaan Lagoon, and that horrible storm came through, Caroline. Yeah, so we had a light brunch, and then we headed to the spit. And quickly we picked up four fish there, four smooth outs, but it was already, the water was already too high, and we couldn't get close enough to actually lift them, and they cut you off on those mussels on the banks which was unfortunate. So we quickly made the call not to stay there because losing too many fish there is not the, the idea we had. And we made it here and on the first cast. Well, I got Caroline's rod as well out as quick as possible and both of them went within 20 minutes. Great yeah. stuff. Yeah, I was very impressed with your multitasking skills. I mean, Andrew was fighting my fish at the same time as he's and he even helped him to land mine. So very impressed. <laughs> well, thanks Robbie for the advice. What a great day. Lovely place. Awesome.